Your assignment was to find a Christmas song that you want to play for the Christmas party. So I started thinking, you know, I should be able to apply new styles. Have you walked into a Walmart lately and looked at the Christmas? Well, in the Walmart by my house, when you walk in the back garden area, all the Christmas stuff is there. And there is racks and racks and racks and racks of Christmas songs. Every artist there is has made a Christmas album, haven't they? Mm -hmm. Reba McIntyre, I mean, rock and roll, rap, you name it, you can find it. But if you turn the album over and look at the back, all of the songs are the same songs. Jingle Bells, Frosty the Snowman, you know, Silent Night, they're all, the titles are all the same. So what makes one album different from another? Style. The style. Okay? If I gave every one of you White Christmas, you would all play it different, wouldn't you? No, I'd play it according to the book. <laughs> but it still would be a little different. If you had to come up with your own. If you had to come up with your own sounds or you had to come up with something to make it different. Now, here's the problem. When you're kind of a semi advancing beginner, beginner intermediate, what are you? Somewhere. Maybe you don't know what you are. <laughs> but you're learning and you're you're just in the, you know, getting some confidence stages. <clears throat> Somebody at Ronley Bach had made the comment to me. No, it was you. <laughs> Remember I told you? The, the hardest <laughs> the hardest thing to do is follow someone who's really good. <laughs> and the very first night Choi Lazada played first. And Greg had to go next. I was devastated. <laughs> and Greg said, oh, and I said, Greg, I don't think I've ever seen you so nervous. And what was your response? I said, you know, this is, how do you, how do you follow Choi Lozada? And as quickly as I said it, you reminded me of what happened when you followed Hector Oliveira. <laughs> and it's just like, you know what? I don't play anything like Choi. Never will. Mm -hmm. Have no intention or desire to. Mm -hmm. But like it me. freaked you out. It did because of the orchestrations, the dramatics, and the show that he presented was second to none. And uh, all I had ready to do was Barney Google. <laughs> <laughs> it really was on. Oh, oh my was God. Really I've never he, heard him yeah. play that. That's right. He's coming back next year. We want him back next year. Oh, yeah. But. But Greg, the next day, said, you know, I said, I've never seen you quite that nervous. And he said, I had to follow Toy Lozada. I said, it didn't matter to me because yeah. you're not Toy Lozada. That's it. Right? You're not Filipino. Yeah. You, but you both play by ear. You have a lot in common. Lots of but you're Greg. Yeah, exactly. I said. And, and that's what we've, you have mentioned for years. You're never going to play like us. You're going to play like you. Mm -hmm. Right. Now. With that, and then I heard, then I heard this comment. One of the ladies from the Bay Area said to me, "Wow, I'm listening to all this stuff and all these workshops, and I play one finger. I'm just this is the word. I'm just a one finger musician, and I feel really bad about that. I should be better." And I looked at her. I said, "Better than who? And better than what?" <laughs> You know, better than what? I mean, I said, I'll bet you, you have as much fun playing your music as Greg does playing his music. She goes, yes, I do. I said, then cut it out. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter how good you are or how long you've played or how you play. It's how you feel when you play. And eventually it'll be how you make people feel when they listen to you play. Now, Christmas is coming. This is the one time of year that, and when we do this, this tutorial, it's probably going to be labeled playing for Christmas. And this is the one time of year that someone is going to walk in your house and ask you to play. Guaranteed. Don't you agree? No. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? If you're going to music classes, your friends want to know how you're doing. Right? All right. You cannot have a grand piano in your house and have guests walk in and not ask you to play. 
or say, do you play? And the thing that bugs me the most is you walk in someone's house and they have this beautiful instrument sitting there and they say, do you play? And you say, no. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of sense does that make? But no, it's just a piano shaped object that I like because it's an art piece in my living room. So when someone genuinely says, would you play? I kind of want you to switch your attitude and go, you know what? I haven't been playing very long, but I'd love to show you what I've learned. Play one song, don't go into concert mode, you know, and, 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 and make them run. Oh, I've got to go. Time's a little short. But just, just graciously sit down and play one thing. And if they want you to play another, then they genuinely, usually they won't ask you to play another one. Generally because they're there for another reason. But how gracious of you to at least show them what you do. So here's Greg and my intention. We want you to have one performance Christmas song so you can do that this season. When your family and friends come over, you can sit down and have one song that just makes you beam when you play it. All right. So you picked it out, right? Mm -hmm. Phil, what did you pick? Little drummer one. Little drummer. Can you write on the board? Yeah. All right, here's the deal. And if you're watching this on the video, this is your assignment also. Look in the camera. All right, so write down Phil, little drummer boy. And you don't need to sign the sign-up sheet because we'll just... Uh... All right, now Phil, do you have a plan for little drummer boy? Plan? <laughs> I guess that's a no. I guess that's a no. <laughs> general idea how Little Drummer Boy is going to go, right? Yeah. What'd you pick? Silent Night. Silent Night. Good one. What'd you pick? Well, I just wrote down one. Silver Bells. Silver Bells. Okay, Don wants Silver Bells. Oh, well, you weren't here last night. No. So, uh, I'll, I'll give you a bye, okay? I, I wasn't here. Okay. First Noel. First Noel. Sandra. Richard, what'd you pick? Well, I picked Oh Holy Night, but I noticed that Ross looks like he's doing it. So I'll do Yezu no, no, Bambino. Right. I'm not doing it. Oh, you're not doing that? Okay, okay. Oh, oh Holy, Holy Night. Night? Yeah. Okay. Oh Holy or Oh Silent? Oh Silent Night? <laughs> <laughs> oh Silent. Well, it's an Oh Holy Depends Night. Depends on if he plays or not. <laughs> huh? Aren't those two songs different? Oh Holy Night is different than... Silent Night. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 He got Oh Holy Night. Okay. Ross, what'd you pick? It came upon a midnight clear. It came upon a midnight clear. Just put midnight clear. Uh, Blue Christmas. Blue Christmas. Good one. Wait. <laughs> Blue Christmas. Okay, Adele doing Blue Christmas. She's a guest. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> oh my. Oh come on. Oh come on. Look at that. Nobody picked the same song. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're back. Dale, what'd you pick? Well, look how it goes all a bit different. There. Okay, a little town. Excellent. Now, how unusual that of all these people, not a single song was duplicated. I know. That's great. And nobody picked Jingle Bell. The 12th or the. Yeah. When is the Christmas party? Well, it's the 12th. It's that middle, it's the second it's week. It's the second week of, of, of December. December. Okay. Friday. We'll have a potluck that day. It's like the 17th. And something. you don't have to play in concert. No. You play while people eat. Oh, that's nice. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like bench warming. Uh -huh. So you'll be coming up and playing your song. You will be, we will schedule you to come in here, and we're going to send that around today that around. for extra help session, 40 minutes, 45 minutes. And that one session, we're going to sit with you and make your plan and make your disc. Okay, for the registration, if you're playing on a piano, you don't need to worry about that. We're going to help you get your arrangement done. So you can take the, the, your, your music, and if it's applicable, your disc home, and you can practice between now, you have a month. A month. <laughs> That's all. I believe it's almost Thanksgiving. So we've got we to gotta hurry here. Now, while we're doing this, you're going to notice that... 
we're, the classes that we do are going to apply to the four different kinds of Christmas music. Okay, there's only four.